morning, everybody. Are you ready to do God Loves Me? God loves me from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from my ear lobes to the end of my nose. God loves my back and my front and my wriggly fingers. God loves me. Should we do it again? God loves me from the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from my ear lobes to the end of my nose. God loves my back and my front and my wiggly fingers. God loves me. Jesus went to Jerusalem to teach in the temple. While he was there, the chief priests and the leaders of the people asked him a question. Who gave you the power to teach here? Jesus answered them with another question. Who gave John the Baptist the power to baptise? Did it come from God or did it come from his own human strength? This was a tricky question for them. If they said that John's power came from God, then Jesus would ask them why they hadn't believed in John and what he preached. But if they answered that John's power was only human, then the crowds would become very angry because they believed that John was a prophet. So they said, we don't know. Jesus refused to answer their question and instead told them a story. A man had two sons. He told the first to go and work in the vineyard. The son said, no, I will not, but later changed his mind and went to work in the vineyard. The father also told his second son to go and work in his vineyard. This son said, yes, I will go. But then he changed his mind and refused to go. Jesus asked those listening a question. Which of the sons did what the father wanted? The first son, they replied. Then Jesus said to them, Sinners will get to heaven before you because they believed what John preached and changed their minds. But you did not believe what he taught, even though you saw that he was a godly man. Now we're going to look at a maze and we're going to see which of the sons actually makes it through to the vineyard. Do you think it's the green one or the dark green one? Have a look, see if you can work it out before our people get there. Do you remember which one actually did the work in the vineyard? Was it the first son or the second son? The first son said no, the second son said yes, but the second son didn't do it, the first son did. They both changed their minds. Have you decided which one's going to win? Are you sure? Yes, it's the dark green one. Jesus told this story. There was once a farmer who had two sons. The farmer owned a vineyard and when it was time to harvest the grapes, he needed everyone in the family to help. So he went to his first son and said, son, will you work in the vineyard today? No, said the first son, I won't. But then he stopped and thought, he changed his mind. Then he went to the vineyard and worked there all day. The farmer also went to his second son and said, son, will you go and work in the vineyard today? Yes, said the second son, of course I will. But then the second son stopped and thought. He changed his mind. He didn't go to the vineyard at all. Instead, he went off to see his friends. Which son, asked Jesus, did what the father wanted him to do? The two sons used their feet to walk either towards the vineyard or away from it. We're going to decorate a foot now. You've got an outline. I'm first of all going to colour it in. I, can you see I've coloured the toes in a different colours and then the foot. And then I'm going to use nice bright things to decorate. I'm going to choose what I want to put onto it to make the, the patterns. So I've put some feathers and then some hearts and now I'm putting some shiny sequins. And then I'm going to add some more feet cut out to show that when we choose the path we put our feet first so our feet go the way that we have chosen to go. Can you 
you tell what the picture is? Does that help? Have you decided? Did you change your mind when you saw what it was? Can you tell what the picture is? You make your mind up. Did you get it right? Can you tell what the picture is? Does that help? We're only seeing part of it. It's very hard to choose what it is, isn't it? If I take away the prism, are you right? Did you guess it was keys? Or did you need to change your mind when you saw through your eyes and not through the lens? Sometimes we need to change our mind. Let's rethink about that story of the two sons. In our story, the, the son, the first son, changed his mind. He decided he ought to do what his father asked, and he went into the vineyard. But the second son changed his mind and decided not to do it. Which one made the right choice? The first son, who said no and then did the work, or the second son, who said yes, but didn't do any of it at all? It's time for our prayers. Get somebody to switch your candle on. Jesus had gone back into the temple and as he taught, the chief priests and the elders came and asked him, what right have you to do these things? Jesus had said, well, what right did John the Baptist have? And they couldn't answer. So he told them the story of the two sons. The father asked the first son to go and work in the vineyard. And he said no, he had other things to do. But later on changed his mind. But the second son, when he asked him, he said, of course I will. But he didn't. He went off and did something else. Which one did what his father wanted? It was the first one who changed his mind. Sometimes we need to change our minds and realise that we should be doing something that we've said we wouldn't. So, we're going to thank God for all the good things that have happened this week. For our families and friends, time in school, time to play with our friends and have lots of good times with our family. And we ask God to forgive us for all the things that we've not done this week, all the things that we, sh we have done that we're not very proud of. And we ask God to be with us this week. Ask him to help if there's anything difficult you want to do, or that you're worried about, or you're anxious. And we're going to say thank you, God, for you, and thank you, God, for me. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. See you next week. <laughs>